Aloha and welcome back to Hi Now Daily. Okay, we are here in Maui in the Wailuku area. And now joining me, we have Kiola Mao Tengan, who's the executive director of Ka'ehu. And we've been here all show long. I've been learning a whole lot and I'm very grateful to be here with you. So thank you for having me here. Yeah, no, mahalo for joining us here at Ka'ehu. Yes, you know, I was learning a lot about what you folks do, connecting the people to their aina and mm -hmm. allowing this to be a, a space for them mm -hmm. to heal. Yes. I wanted to hear a little bit more from your standpoint point about what you see for Ka'ehu and for the people? Yeah, well, I mean, I grew up in this area just about a minute from here. Uh, my aunties live in the uh, Paukukawa area, so this was sort of my playground back mm -hmm. in the day. And way back when, you know, 30 years ago, this was a very different place. Oh, yeah. When I first heard about what was happening here in uh, 2018, I didn't really believe it until I saw it with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. And as I crossed over and I saw green where it used to be brown, I saw open space in Mo'i where there was trash and, you know, uh, abandoned vehicles. I didn't know what this place was, but I knew that I was in. Yeah. Whatever it was going to be, I knew I was in. Wow, so then how did you take it from just a place that you wanted to restore? And how did it go into the direction that it went with Ka'ehu? Well, I mean, I've only really been in this position since February. Mm -hmm. So there's been a lot of effort that has happened prior to, to me coming here. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really sort of taking the stick of all the work that previous people have done in being able to get Ka'ehu to where it is today. Yeah. And so since coming in in February and just recognizing, you know, it's 64 acres of coastal wetland, which in and of itself brings in aspects of what's happening, you know, in the Kai and at the ocean, mm -hmm. and then also what's happening on the Aina itself. And yeah. so with our staff of three people, it's way bigger than, you know, our team can be. And mm -hmm. so we do a lot in terms of partnerships mm -hmm. and what I see as community weaving. I mean, with with the the logo for Ka'ehu, it brings in that aspect to key piece in Lauhala weaving, which yeah. is the start of something tremendous. And so I'm just kind of picking up where others have gotten Ka'ehu to this day. Wow, amazing. You mentioned lohala weaving and mm -hmm. kind of connecting and weaving everybody together. Yes. Um, you guys do that uh, with the programs, with the activities mm -hmm. that you have for the keiki, the kupuna that come here um, to Ka'ehu. Yes. Um, tell me a little bit more about what you have. Like what's in front of us? I know mm -hmm. you guys also go down to the Ka'i and you guys right. do some work down there. So please Definitely. Share. Well, we a lot of what our charge is is the revitalization of Ka'ehu Bay. Mm -hmm. And how we do that is through the restoration of Aina through indigenous Hawaiian stewardship practices. And so so we do a lot with native plants. This is one of the few areas on Maui, let alone Hawaii, that has a high concentration of native plant species. And so what we like to do is use what get. Right? Yeah, yeah. And so with like our lauhala, for example, we have uh, the trees here with our new and our coconut. We make apu out of that, as well as a number of different workshops that our director of cultural education, uh, Lohilani, uh, really leads. And in doing so, helps to reconnect people to this aina. And that goes from the field trips and the huaka'i that we do, mm -hmm. to the volunteer programs that we help to facilitate, to also the Hawaiian cultural educational classes that we do too. Awesome. Last question for you. Yeah. The future of Ka'ehu, what do you see? Well, really, the direction that um, was was laid out for for me and for you know generations to come is Pu'u Honua Oka'ehu, and so a place of healing and heritage. And you know, president of the board, uh, Hokulani Holt Kumu is really well versed in it. Mm -hmm. There was a lot that was facilitated for a number of years by Kule Maunupau, who helped in terms of the planning consortium. And so really a place as we kind of move forward of resiliency through the lens of indigenous Hawaiian resource stewardship. Amazing. I appreciate you guys, everybody yeah. that came down to Ka'ehu to join me today on, on the show. Um, so go ahead and check out all the work they're doing. Head to their website. They've got all the information there. I hear that playing, which means I'm going to get out of here. You're not going to hear anything more from me, so we're going to go to break and we'll be back with more of High Now Daily. Mahalo for joining me, alright? And mahalo for my bracelet.